Hey guys, my name is Chris, welcome to my channel. In this video I wanted to talk about some of the tech that I use when I travel and how I can remove some of the friction uh, while traveling. So as you can see today I'm in a hotel. I've been in a hotel a lot recently as I've been traveling a lot for work and um, it's been really hard to make videos at home so I just figured since I'm traveling why not make a video about tech that I use when I travel. So this is that video. So before we get started, I did separate the different tech into different categories. So if you're only interested in particular categories, I've timestamped them somewhere in the video or in the description so that you can go to the category that most interests you. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So let's briefly talk about the four categories. So the first category is gadgets. Uh, what are the things that I'm actually carrying? Uh, the second is charging and cable management. So of course if I'm carrying all these gadgets I have to carry a whole bunch of cables and keep them organized. Um, so I wanted to show you what my charging situation looks like when I travel. Uh, with all these gadgets and cables you gotta have a way to organize them. So I wanted to talk about the different ways that I organize all of these gadgets. And then lastly I wanted to talk about the backpack. Since everything, all of this is eventually going to go into the backpack. I wanted to talk to you about the backpack that I'm currently using. or. Uh, the features that I look for in a backpack. So let's get started with the gadgets. The first gadget I want to talk about is my iPhone 10. Uh, this is my daily driver. I've had it since it came out and I used to be the type of person that upgraded my phone every year. Um, but recently I just haven't found a need uh, to upgrade this one. Um, the screen cracked. I recently got it replaced. So right now it's working like new. The batteries uh, still at a high capacity, so I don't really see a reason to upgrade to the newer versions. So that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I carry with me. It's one of the phones that I carry with me when I travel. Um, I just find it that's way easier. The last time I had a paper boarding pass, uh, it ended up in the trash with my breakfast. So I don't think I've used a paper boarding pass since. Um, and I also like the convenience of Apple Pay. So. When I'm traveling a lot of carrying a whole bunch of bags, my backpack gets pretty heavy because of all the stuff that I pack inside it. So having my phone in my pocket to where I can use it as my boarding pass and to pay using Apple Pay is extremely convenient and it removes a lot of the friction of having to pull my wallet out and pulling out the credit card, paying for it. There's been situations where I've had to pull my wallet out and show my uh, credit card or use it for payments and I've ended up losing stuff like that. Um, might just be me, but I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about travel, but whenever I'm traveling, there's always like a rush to get to the gate and you're distracted with everything that's going on. So any chance that I get to not do a lot of things at once um, is a plus for me. So mobile boarding pass and for Apple Pay, uh, extremely convenient whenever I'm traveling. Of course, when you're traveling to a new place, you might want to grab some pictures. So the iPhone 10 still takes great pictures. It has a great camera, but that's actually not my main camera. The main camera that I'm using is my Google Pixel 3 XL, which has one of the best cameras that I have ever used on a cell phone. Um, so yes, I do carry two phones. Uh, one's personal, one's for work, one's iPhone, one's Android. And uh, I used to use two iPhones for work, um, but whenever I got the opportunity to upgrade, the Pixel 3 was coming out, so I went ahead and jump for it and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I like being exposed to the iOS and the Android ecosystem. The way Google does Android is uh, one of the cleanest that I've seen. It's not as bloated as some of the other, uh, like some of the other companies do Android. And I mean, I, I really enjoy using it. It has a great camera. Um, when I travel, I use it similarly to my iPhone. So I always have both in my pocket. So boarding pass, um, it's convenient being able to pull whichever phone I need to or whichever phone's the easiest to get to and use that as my boarding pass and then the Pixel also has Google Pay so if uh, I can't pull my iPhone out and use Apple Pay I can always use Google Pay um, as well so it's that convenience of having one in each pocket and being able to pull one out uh, for boarding or to buy something at the airport uh, it's been extremely convenient for me. So another piece of tech that I always travel with, I wouldn't consider it travel tech, but my Apple Watch. So I'm using the Apple Watch Series 4. Um, so I know there's a feature where you can uh, use your watch as a boarding pass, but I tend not to do that. Um, whenever I first got an Apple Watch, I did that a lot and it just 
became really inconvenient, especially if your uh, boarding pass is getting scanned and you have to put your watch down like this. It just became a hassle, so I don't really use it that way, but uh, really the only time I use it while I'm traveling at the airport is, again, for Apple Pay. So in instances where I can't reach any of my phones or they're in my backpack or anything like that, having uh, Apple Pay on my watch has been extremely convenient as well. So that's what I use my Apple Watch for, uh, for travel while I'm at the airport and uh, things like that. So next I wanna talk about my iPad. So my iPad is my favorite thing that I get to carry. I can watch movies, YouTube, browse social media, respond to texts, respond to emails, get some work done. It's just my favorite multi-purpose uh, gadget that I own and that I carry. Um, so I'm using the iPad Pro 11 inch with LTE and I love it. Um, so historically I've had really bad luck with iPads. Uh, my first iPad got stolen uh, when my car was broken into. So then um, I was able to replace that and get an iPad Pro. That was my first iPad Pro, it was the first generation that came out. And then that also got stolen. So I was able to replace that one with my current iPad and I'm hoping that this one doesn't get stolen. But uh, yeah, it's my favorite piece of tech and it's always with me. If I know that I'm gonna be out for uh, most of the day when I'm at home, I always pack it into my backpack so that I always have it with me. Uh, when I travel, that's usually my go-to device. Uh, when I'm on the plane, uh, when I'm waiting to board, when I'm in one of the airport lounges, my iPad is just always my go-to. Um, so yeah, I really, really love my iPad and it's I think it's the best, one of the best devices that's ever made, but especially for travel, it's just so convenient, light, compact. You can do a whole bunch of things on it. Yeah, I really love my iPad. So even though I do most of my reading on my iPad, uh, there are some times where I might bring a Kindle. I feel like reading on a Kindle is a little bit less distracting because you can't exit out of a Kindle and then open different apps like you can on an iPad. It's on the book that I'm reading or if I really wanna read a book in a short amount of time or just really wanna focus on what I'm reading. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll be reading on my iPad, but a Kindle just because of the size the portability, you can fit a ton of books on it. Um, it's definitely a really, really good piece of tech to have when you travel. We've talked about all this tech already and I haven't even gotten to the laptops. Um, so if I'm traveling for work, I'm usually carrying two laptops. I'm carrying my uh, personal laptop, uh, which is one of the older 2015 MacBook Pros, the 13 inch, uh, the last one with a great keyboard. And I'll, I'm also carrying a HP 13 inch laptop that I use for work. So nothing fancy about it. It's just your typical 13 inch laptop. So when it comes to audio, I always have two pairs of headphones with me. The first are my AirPods uh, that I use to listen to music or be on calls as I'm walking around the airport. Uh, it's just really easy. I keep them in my ears. Um, I know it looks weird, but it's just really convenient to just have that, uh, have that ready to go in case I need to take a phone call or just want to listen to music or a podcast as I'm walking to the gate. Uh, but when we get on the plane, that's a totally different, different scenario. I always put my AirPods on and I take out my Bose QC35s. These are just my noise cancel headphones of choice. Uh, I use these just to listen to music or podcasts or just watch stuff on the plane so it cancels out all the noise. Um, I've had both of these for about a year now uh, so I don't really have a need to upgrade. I know Bose came out with some new noise canceling headphones and the AirPod Pros just came out but I don't really see a need to upgrade right now. Um, but yeah AirPods I think are one of the most convenient gadgets uh, that Apple has made or that have ever been made. Uh, just the amount of AirPods that I see every day at the grocery store, at the airport, on planes, they're just everywhere. And when it comes to noise canceling headphones, Bose is always at the top. So those are the two headphones that I typically travel with. Okay, so now that we've talked about all of the gadgets that I carry, now let's start talking about the nightmare that it is to carry all of these cables and power bricks so that I can actually keep them charged. And before I get started and uh, start talking about the cables, I wanted to first talk about my most favorite, most non-techy thing that just makes all of this stuff manageable. And that is these 
Velcro ties. So these things make cable management a breeze. So I have one on mostly all of my cables. Um, I always roll up my cables like this, and then I just use this Velcro tie to keep them nice and tidy. And all of the cables are like this. So these cable ties literally save lives. Cable ties save lives. They are lifesavers. They really make the cables in your bag a lot more manageable. You don't have to stick your hand in and hope that you got the right cable or have to untangle cables whenever you pull them out. So if there's anything that I would recommend from this video, yeah, if there's anything I would recommend out of this video, it would be these cable ties. Um, they're cheap, they're effective. You get a ton of them on Amazon for, I think you get a hundred for 10 bucks. So it's definitely worth the purchase. And if you're interested, I'll keep a link down below, but definitely keeps, I definitely recommend these. There's nothing really fancy with all of the cables that I'm carrying. They're the standard cables that came with the products that I bought. Uh, the only cable that I'll highlight here really is the, um, an Alki USB-C to lightning cable that I got. And that's really more out of convenience because my work laptop has a USB-C port that, uh, has fast charging. So being able to plug that in directly to the USB-C port and fast charge my iPhone, uh, charge my AirPods really quick, uh, that's really where I get the value out of that. So the next thing I wanna talk about then is the charging bricks. So I usually travel with two charging bricks. And if I look at my travel pack here, I have a Anchor a dual USB port. So there's two USBs. Uh, and it's just a regular brick that you plug into the wall. So I really like this just because it has two USB ports in case I need to plug in multiple things at once. Uh, it's really compact and it charges things pretty quickly too. So this is just a basic brick, two USB ports. What I'm really psyched about and one of my all time favorite travel tech purchases is this Alki power brick, two outlets which is really cool because usually you're taking up an outlet and this one gives you two. Um, but if you look at the bottom, there's four USB ports. Um, so with all the gadgets that I have, being able to plug these two into an outlet, I have six USB ports, two additional outlets. I can get all the things charged and it's a really small package. Just these two little bricks. I don't have to worry about having an extension cord or having multiple bricks or anything like that. Really just gotta worry about taming all of these cables. But this power brick, uh, I got it on Amazon. Uh, it's an Alki two AC outlets with four USB ports. I think that's actually like in the description of the product itself. So I'll link that down below as well if you're interested in it. Um, I think I got it for like 15, 20 bucks and it's definitely one of the most valuable things that I've bought that just makes charging while I'm traveling way easier. Now let's talk about organization. So all of these gadgets, all of these cables, they all have to go into my backpack and really the best way to go about that is to have some sort of organization structure within your backpack. So really what I'm using, I have a plastic bag that I got at the container store that includes pretty much all of my cables. Um, just makes it easier to access whenever I'm trying to find a cable in my backpack. I just pull out the pouch, grab the cable I need, put the pouch back, and instead of having cables everywhere. Um, for hard drives and adapters and different things like that, I use this smaller pouch that I got during one of my trips. Uh, nothing fancy about it. It's just a pouch that keeps everything in one place. So. Um, really appreciate that and then i also have uh this hard shell case so i have multiple of these this one came with my osmo when i'm not traveling with my osmo i just put other stuff in here so right now i have my mic uh in here and it just keeps it protected keeps it from getting smushed in my backpack and um yeah i also have the hard case that comes with the bose headphones so that's just a bose carrying case but uh, the concept that I just want to get around is having an organizational system so that it makes it easier to find the things that you need. So instead of pulling individual cables and things out of my backpack, I just pull out the bag that I need, 
grab the things that I need, put the pack back, makes it easier to organize the backpack and um, yeah, you don't have to dig around for, for whatever it is I need. So even though these bags are working for me, I am interested in something like the Peak Design Travel Pouch um, or the Tech Pouch, I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll link the description down below. But even though I'm carrying a lot of these bags, I think from the reviews that I've seen on the Tech Pouch, I'd be able to consolidate a lot of these cables and different things that I'm carrying into one bag. So I'm definitely looking into getting that. Uh, when I get it, I'll review it as well um, so that you guys know what to expect if it's something that you're interested in as well. Guess before I start talking about backpacks, if you're still watching this video, thanks. Um, I really appreciate it. If you're new here, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the, the like button on this video. Go ahead and hit subscribe so you, that you can uh, follow along on the different types of reviews that I do. And then also hit the bell so that you get a notification whenever I create, uh, whenever I upload uh, new videos. Okay, so let's talk about backpacks. So right now I'm alternating between two backpacks that I don't really like. Uh, one of them is a Kohan travel backpack that um, I got on sale one time at one of the outlets. Um, it's a cool backpack, but it's not the best when it comes to travel. The second backpack is a Kenneth Cole Reaction travel backpack that I got suckered into getting at Marshalls because it had a USB port that I thought was super cool that I never use. Um, so I got, got there. Um, but these two backpacks are ones that I alternate with whenever I'm either in town, working, going to the office every day, or when I'm traveling. So rather than talk about these backpacks, I mean, they're not backpacks that I'm really uh, a huge fan of. Um, so instead, I want to talk about the four factors that I look for in a travel backpack and things that, uh, that my next backpack are going to include. First thing that I look for in a travel backpack is built-in organization. So I want to be sure that the backpack has pockets to hold a lot of the things that are going to go into the backpacks, but also just um, organized in a way that it's easy for me to access. So a lot of the backpacks that you typically see, you have to dig down and get something. Uh, something like the Nomadic backpack is something that I'm interested in where you're able to pull the lid all the way down and have open access to the things that you need to get. Um, so something like that that has intentional organization and not just a bunch of random pockets that serve no purpose is something that I look for in a travel backpack. Uh, the second is a carry-on strap. Uh, so I'm always at the airport uh, with all this stuff that I'm putting into my backpack, it can get kind of heavy. So having that travel strap where I can just strap on the backpack onto my carry-on, uh, that's a big value add for me. It makes it way easier to navigate the airport and it's definitely something that my next backpack is going to have. The third factor is comfortable straps. I mean, so it's a backpack. There are times where I'm going to have to carry the thing and with all the stuff that I usually have in there, I wanna have something that's comfortable and something that uh, distributes the weight evenly. So comfortable straps are a big factor. And then finally, the last one is just a sturdy build. Um, so if we look at the two backpacks that I have right now, the Kohan uh, doesn't really have a sturdy build. It has good quality materials. Um, but the organization's not there, the straps aren't that comfortable, there's no travel, there's no carry-on strap. And then if I wanted to stand the backpack up on its own, on the table or on the seat next to me, it won't stand up on its own. It'll just flop and I would have to lay it flat and dig my hand in to get things out. Um, as for the Kenneth Cole backpack that I use as well, it's just not sturdy at all. It's just very flimsy there's not a lot of structure to it like the nomadic backpack like I mentioned earlier it has it checks all of these boxes so I'm really excited to get my hands on that make it uh, my next travel backpack put it through its paces and then I do plan on reviewing it as well all right so I'm gonna end the video here I really appreciate you watching it here um, Apologies for the rambling, but I just didn't want to go through a list of products and not let you know how I use it or how it's useful to me. So if you made it this far, thanks, really appreciate it. Um, if you want to see more videos like these, go ahead and hit the like button so that I know that you like this. Subscribe, hit the bell so that you know when I post new things. 
Uh, if you want to follow me on social media, I'll also put my Twitter and my Instagram handles there. Um, I tend to do impromptu reviews sometimes if I'm at Best Buy and I see a computer or something that I like. So if that's something that you're interested in and you like that spontaneity of reviewing random tech products, definitely give me a follow on my Twitter and my Instagram. Otherwise, like I said, my name is Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.